Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This is a very quick little tutorial on ears. I struggled with ears um, in my felted projects quite a bit and getting them to match, making them thin enough. And as some of you know, I use wax in my projects initially uh, to make feet. However, I am rapidly becoming a fan and have developed a blend which works wonderfully for multiple purposes. Everything that I'm doing here you can absolutely do with just plain beeswax. The wax I'm using here is a blend uh, that we make, and if I'm honest, I don't actually use anything else now. This will be appearing in our Etsy shop soon. Uh, we're developing this so it has more elasticity than plain beeswax, but more on that in another video. So to make the ears, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need some melted wax. You're going to need your fluff, some scissors, uh, I use a spatula, but you can use anything to smoosh in the wax, and that's a technical term, smooshing. Uh, you're going to need some needles and a little felting surface. You're also going to need a waxing surface. Uh, I use a, a glass mat, but you could use a greaseproof paper or maybe a plate. Remember, you're going to get wax on this sur surface, so don't use your best stuff. The fluff that I'm using here is the Maker's uh, New Zealand Merino Flesh Blend and I will put links for absolutely everything in the description box below. Okay, so ears. The first thing you're going to need is two equal bits of fluff. So I'm going to put this in half and then in half again. Uh, we're going to shape very, very loosely. Um, just stab your fibers down and just mat them together just a little bit I'm going to start by making a pointy uh, shaped ear so I'm just going to bring this over this absolutely does not need to be exact so we've got a rough little pointy shape Now, what we're going to do is lightly dab one side of the ear into the wax, um, or you can apply it using a spatula, but don't cover the whole thing. You just want to be covering the tip because you want this kind of fluffy bit down here, um, so at the end you can attach it to your project. So we're just going to dab one side. There's not very much. And now comes the technical part, the smooshing. And we are just going to smoosh the wax. Let's get a bit more. Into that side and then pull it up and don't be alarmed. Turn it over. Smoosh some more into this side. And we just get in with our fingers. And start forming, molding, shaping. Excuse the dog going off in the background. I think the postman just arrived. So we've got a lovely little ear shape starting to come and the nice thing about this is that you can mold it to get some some movement in it we've got a good working time with this wax as well so you can curve bend and shape as you like and there's a little I don't know, elf ear maybe. Um, so there. And then to do a second ear, we just repeat the process. So let me get my little mat back in here. I'm going to make just a little bed, just knit those fibers together ever so slightly. I'm going to roughly just 
give myself a, a bit of a shape. And the the dab. Let me show you how much I'm using. It's it's just touching it to the surface, like that, and in with the smooshing. A bit more wax on the other side. And then in with the fingers. Don't forget to rub around the edges if you need a little more wax. And just touch it on. You can always add more, it's a little harder to take it away. And you can create a very nice thin ear and pinch right out at the ends and you get that sort of tapered these are great for sort of rats and little mice and as you can see I've got my little ferret over here so just shape one Have a look. There we go. Just another little pointy ear. Now, this is where you don't want, you want to make sure that you don't have too much wax. When you apply this, uh, Let's get him back in here a second. If if we were going to apply this to his head, then you want to spread the fluff that you've got left out so that it's in the middle. Your product is it, or your your art part is in the middle of all of this fluff. That way, you can place it, hold it down, and stab this fluff into your project and then you can lay over your top coat right up to the ear and you get this sort of nice blended uh, effect. If you have too much wax um, past the base of the ear then you're going to find it difficult to stab in and you may need to resort to, to glue or whatever. Um, but this does make uh, for a very very quick and simple little ears you can do all kinds of shapes um, so here we've got a couple of pointy ears I haven't matched them up very well at the moment but I would usually spend a little bit longer let's see let's make it a little pointier and you may then decide oh do you know what I don't want pointy ears I want rounded ears and that's not a problem either because you can take a pair of scissors to this so if this has become quite hard you can just warm it up a little bit with a hairdryer but let's just round that off and then we're going to pinch the heat from my hand will do the work. Nice little round ear, put some little shape. You can use this one as a template for the other one. Let's put that on. Like that. Rub the wax around the edges. And there we've gone from having some pointy ears to having some rounded ears. You could um, just make a flat sheet um, of fluff 
a nice thin sheet and then spread some wax all over sort of one top section and just cut it out you don't have to do the initial shaping that absolutely would work as well but that's how I do it that is not the only way to do it but that's how I do it so have a play with it um, I hope that this has been uh, useful so do let me know how you get on if you've got any questions email or um, you know message me uh, we have a Facebook page and please do subscribe to our list. So um, thank you very much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day.